real estate and Airbnb meltdown. Let's see. Now, you had mentioned uh, Airbnb uh, earlier in the conversation, and of course, that seems to be getting all the headlines for the last couple of yeah. weeks. And, 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 and it was even in 2020, uh, I remember the same thing. Uh, it's kind of the same story resurfacing, that the Airbnb bubble is, gonna cra- is, is finally going to be the piece that crashes the, the real estate market. Um, I don't really tend to agree with that, uh, but I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. No, I completely agree with you. I, you know, it's it clickbait stuff. That's all. People are, you know, there were. It's ridiculous to think that Airbnb is going to c- crash the the residential market. Um, yeah. It. How. I. I. I by the way, you, you know, we have a whole short term division of our of our company. I've been doing before even Airbnb was around. We used to do first rentals a week, one month, three months uh, to like. The, you know, I, I live in Scottsdale, so we. We had like the San Francisco Giants, the Cleveland Indians, you know, so we house baseball teams and stuff like that. So we've been doing this a while. Um, What we are seeing, though, is on the higher end stuff, um, people are not paying those kinds of, you know, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars a night stuff. And that's everywhere where I'm at. And uh, so there is some softness there. But, you know. Uh, it's it's a small piece of the market, um, and but if you buy like if you own a home and you bought it in Scottsdale, at, let's say a million dollars, um, and it's worth three today, who cares? You know, just go back to a rental. You know what I mean? Yeah. The the rental yeah. market's still fine. It's the, it's the people, and we know several uh, in multiple markets. It's the people that bought them based on you know this four or five thousand dollar a week model. Um, that those are the people that are in trouble because they financed it typically sometimes with hard money. And, um, you know, they're expecting 15, 20, even more per month in revenue of that, you know, it's so much higher than just the regular rental market. Um, those are the ones that we're starting to see make their way back to the listings. Yeah, I would agree. You know, I, I, I was talking to someone about this, I think last night or the day before, and I just said, you know, nine out of 10 businesses fail. So these are sort of businesses and most people have yep. no idea what they were doing. And so they started a business that they don't know how to manage. A lot of these areas you see, they still have 60, 70% occupancy, but that's the average. That means a lot of people are below and some people are higher. And so, so a couple of things here. Yes, you should never buy a property to do Airbnb. If it only makes sense for Airbnb, you should always have multiple exit strategies. If you couldn't do Airbnb, 12 months from when you bought it, would it still make sense to own that property having long-term rentals? Can you do a junior ADU, an accessory dwelling unit in the garage conversion to generate more revenue? What could you do in order for that unit to still make sense, right? So again, do you have multiple exit strategies? It's silly to think that, you know, the Airbnb market alone could crash and burn the real estate market when the Airbnb market is like this tiny, tiny, tiny thing of this global real estate market. And even just within the US, right? Airbnb accounts for like 0.00006 of all real estate. It's silly to think that Airbnbs are gonna crash the market. And yes, people create videos on YouTube with clickbait titles saying, oh my God, this is the end of real estate. Airbnb is going to crash and burn the market. Like, it's just silly. So, yeah, let's continue here. If you're good in business, you're above that. If you're yep. bad in business, like we see so many people there below. Um, and to the point, uh, I've also said the same thing. You know, I run a couple short term rentals as well. And I just told people, uh, <laughs> learning from my uh, un- unfortunate, painful lessons, is would it rent out long term and would you be okay with that amount to the point that you're making? And if you're okay with that amount, um, then, you know, I'm okay doing the short term on top of it, try to get a little alpha but understand my risk position on yep. the way back down. If I could do it long term. Yep. I completely agree with you. Yeah. It's, it's a business issue and you know, most people figure it out. And if, if uh, there's nothing wrong with going with plan A, B and plan B, which is straight rental, you know, that, that if, you know, if, if it started there and you went yeah. up and you started making a bunch of money and you got to go re- retreat back to there, that's still okay. Cool. So I think that's good for that video, but I wanted to give you guys uh, just some additional insight. If you guys don't know, Ken McElroy is Robert Kiyosaki's business partner, right? So I have Ken's books over there. I, ha- I got it signed. I actually went on his podcast. So if you go to Ken McElroy's YouTube channel, I'm on there. We did a, a video. I think it, w- it was posted in August of 2022 and uh, it did really, really well. It was awesome. In fact, uh, this year I'm going to be speaking at his mastermind along with Robert Kiyosaki. So 
pretty cool. I'd be talking about Airbnb. And Mark Moss has also been around, you know, a figure entrepreneur, a real estate investor. He's into crypto, real estate, also has short term rentals. But these are two very, very highly successful individuals that have been around for a long time. And in the you know the social media space uh creating incredible content and if they're doing short-term rentals i don't know maybe that should be a sign uh especially ken mcelroy he owns billions like about four billion worth of real estate so even though we the three of us uh ken mark and myself are all huge fans of owning real estate and i believe that should be everybody's goal remember you don't have to start with owning you could always start by doing arbitrage or doing the management side as long as you get started remember do what you can with what you have where you are you can start with co-hosting and charge a percentage of all the revenue you can start with subleasing and rent properties and re-rent them on airbnb i got plenty of videos here on my youtube channel where i break it down make sure you guys check them out if you want to get into this game i also post content every single day on instagram so make sure you guys come follow me there before i share the last tip make sure you guys like subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos but one of the things that mark moss Ken McElroy and myself have in common is that we have all invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into coaches and mentors because why do we want to go out there and reinvent the wheel and make all the mistakes ourselves when we can just learn from someone who's already mastered that strategy we could shave off five to ten years of mistakes and just do it right the first time so if you are looking for an Airbnb coach Check out the links in my description down below where you can schedule a free strategy call with my team and we can see if we are a good fit to work with each other. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.